if Nigeria go divide the bare. Hey, the North no get anything, oh, but they are wrong. But I love it. I love the fact that they are trying to raise the awareness. So we're going to stop by in Abuja. Where will the wiki? The man that just constructed a 21 billion dollar vice presidential vice president's house. The same guy that just got uh, a supplementary, he got 1.2 trillion naira. We had uh, as a minister. Then he is also going to get 98. Uh, 0.8 billion naira supplementary budget. Now he has chosen that. You really shouldn't tell him how to, you know what? I'm just going to build houses for judges. Judges need houses. We must get out and build houses for judges. That's where we go. Another set of 11 billion naira for judges' quarters. Uh, T ring can can. Yes, but you do an S legal year, not in September, September is tomorrow. Legal year in this division. Let me also say that Mr. President is not only concerned about building this alone. Mr. President has also provided that look, when he hears where judges are living, people who are involved in trying criminals, people who are involved in Controversial cases. There are rented buildings. Tomorrow, the money is not there to pay. And then the contractor will be embarrassed, the, the landlord will be embarrassing them. That is not what we should have. We should have a judiciary where they have their own houses so they will be comfortable and carry out their duties. What Mr. President has done, I want to say it to all of us that we should provide accommodation, time for the Court of Appeal, time for the Federal High Court, time, no, 20 for the LCT Court. My Lord, if the BPP helps us on time, you lay the foundation of these 40 buildings for the Court of Appeal, for the LCT High Court, and the Federal uh, High Court before you retire. I will believe by August we have laid the foundation. The president has also not stopped there. He has said, well, we have several times in the negative that look, our judges, when they retire, they have no other job to do. Unlike medical doctors, unlike engineers, who, when they retire, can go back to their practice. And in this case, this is not available for the justices and judges. And Mr. President said, look, we have to start somewhere. And he has approved that the heads of court must have their retirement homes. Mr. President has approved the chief judge of the Federal High Court, the chief judge of the FCT, the president of the National Industrial Court, and the president of the Court of Appeal must have their retirement homes. And I want to assure you, by the grace of God, the foundation of these homes will be laid this August, and before that September, you all have your keys to your houses. Also, because of the request made by the Chief Judge of the City, who have said, now oh, look, they need more court rooms for the magistrates, particularly in Matama, Asokoro, and got to keep this reason, that they need more. Okay, that's why somebody said, when the revolution starts, now that will a week ago go, in go target. A lot of you watching me right now believes that there will never be one. Oh, Baba, eh, what do you have to lose if you can imagine it? Because who knows if it happens, I could actually bring your, you know, make your dream come true. What do you have to lose? If I am in Nigeria when that kicks off, right? I have three people that I don't want all of you to drag with me, please. If you see them anywhere, you have to bring them to me. I say, am I going to get interested in these three? I won't give you the names so that I don't get tagged like, oh, you know. Abuja no get water. Eh? Abuja markets. They don't get water. They don't get fire. I mean, get uh, power. 
hospitals, no, no medicine. Uh, what do you call it? No bed. In Abuja, where they have the Abuja General Hospital shower. And I think that's the major one, isn't it? With a weekend, we spend 11 billion naira and more. Because with what I have heard now, Sha, blessed the daughter is going to somewhere around uh, 21 billion again. But not for one house, 40 houses. They had to build retirement home for judges. Is increased the salary of the judges. The chief justice of Nigeria now earned four times of what he used to earn last month. Just two days ago, despite all the protests in uh, Kenya, Ruto still increased the salaries of the politicians. Today, he don't cut them off. Tifnubu has increased the salaries of uh, Nigerian judges, judiciary, three times in the last one year. Not just that. Tifnumbu has released, as part of the sharing and sharing uh, money, he has released over 150 billion naira to the judiciary. I remember that of 47 billion, and I remember another of uh, 109 billion naira. These two tranches were given to the judiciary in Nigeria by Tifnumbu from last year and this year. All to pay back the judiciary that make a drug dealer president. Can you beat that? The judiciary that rejected all evidences and then turned around and said no evidence was presented because they did not present the evidence at the right time. They did not fire them in. Instead of writing A, they wrote, uh, they wrote F. That's the wrong one. At the end of the day, they made a drug dealer, a drug baron, the president of Nigeria, a certificate forger, an election rigger, a criminal. So he's paying them back, rewarding them every now and then. So the supposed Attorney General of Nigeria, Chief Justice, sorry, Attorney General Minister of Justice. This guy, yo, this guy, where you go, come your screen right now. Now the APC lawyer during the presidential uh, tribunal, presidential election uh, tribunal, court cases, right? Now the guy who represented APC, Beke Baby this, is now the Minister of Justice. But, in his words, maybe if we really can build all these houses, eh? judges are too poor in Nigeria. Now they won't be poor because right now in Nigeria, eh? judiciary is no longer the last hope of a common man. It is the last hope of uh, listen. Sorry, gone were those days when judiciary was uh, uh, regarded as the last hope of common man. I take objection to it. It is the big people now who patronize the judiciary, not even the common man. And if you have any doubt, when an um, election is approaching, come and see the way, with all respect, some people behave like life, I mean, rain beating chicken. Forgive me, I don't mean to be rude. So the judiciary is no longer the last hope of common man alone. It is also, or majorly now, the last hope of the big shots. The, the establishment, I know. So the next thing he said is that he knew that where a wiki would not start any project that he won't finish. In River State, where a wiki was building flyover to nowhere, while the adjoining roads were completely off. It'd be like, say, you build bridge now, fly over bridge here, right? And then from here, like 100 kilometers away, there is no road. Here, 100 kilometers away, there is no road. But they probably would do like from the bridge, fly over. They will do maybe two, three kilometers from that 100 kilometer, right? And then they will take the picture, take everything. Fly over one, fly over two, fly over 12. Even where he did Gada, who did this Gada? Who built this Gada? Where we can? It was just a big say, you say you get. So he was building houses for judges when his wife was member of uh, the River State uh, Judiciary, whatever, whatever. She's member of uh, the High Court. Now she's a member of the Supreme Court. So where we can say, wife 
will benefit from the no, I think Koto Papel. Is she one of I don't care? Or is she be what is she don't move from rivers now to Abuja, where she will be entitled to a house when she retires? And if nobody has approved that, where is the money coming from? I don't know. But the Abuja people can continue to complain that uh, they have no access uh, to the primary health care. The poor people have no money to pay for the medical bills of their children. With well, the wicked doesn't give a damn. You know that. Eh? I'll leave it at that. Now, finally, I love these girls. I love, no, not girls. Why do I look like calling uh, women girls? I kind of like to call them ladies or something. It doesn't matter. So these ladies are Arewa ladies. In their own little way, they are raising awareness. What if Nigeria break up tomorrow? What if Nigeria go back to regionalism? What if, what if, what if? Where would it not be? They ask, you know. Dear Northern Nigerian people, this is a wake up call for all of us. If today they decide to make Nigeria survive on their region, what do we have in Northern Nigeria? What do we have in Northern Nigeria? I have come on here to talk about it several times. That the rich in Northern Nigeria are not doing justice. They are not being fair to the poor in Northern Nigeria. They weaponize poverty and make it look like it is a religious thing. Oh, it is okay for you to be poor. It is Kadara. That is who we are. It is part of our destiny to have the poor and the rich amongst us. But the proportion in which the poor and the rich are in Northern Nigeria is unfair. Sakanira, Allah, let's be fair. Let's be frank. Let us sit down at the table and have a proper conversation. Because if today, Anche, Northern Nigeria, that could cheer the con, could have been the cookie. Peter the Shia, Kasana, Ubombe, Muke the Shia, we have plenty of bridges. We will start selling bridges. We will turn bridges to tourist sites. Roundabouts. We will turn it to tourist sites. Because if we do not have roundabouts, if you don't have no roundabouts in your country, in your state, if you do not have new bridge made by every new governor, are you even in Northern states? What is happening in Northern Nigeria? By the time people say vote, we will say no, Kabila. No, let's follow tribe. Let's follow religion. Now that the economy has been turning on its own, how many times have you gone to the market and you have been offered free food because of your religion? How many times have you been offered free clothes because of your tribe? You're not sitting in your house. You now have light. You're not paying for light again because you voted this person. If you vote anybody, the person goes up there and doesn't perform well, you have every right to remove the person. But the truth is, Mue Arewa will just, ah, come here, Allah, you know, this and that. I'm not taking out the place of God. I'm saying trust in God. But in that, use your sense. Use wisdom. These people have used money to separate us. They are intermarrying themselves and spending the money that we're supposed to be shared equally amongst us, the citizens. Eh, Arewa, we need to wake up. Oh. Gone are those days, we just come and tell us, Oh, vote for this person from your state. If this person from your village is not doing the right thing, remove the person and vote for the other person that is that would probably do the right thing for you. And the person doesn't perform well, come out to the person as well. Thank God it's not forever, it's for four years. Northern Nigeria, this is the time to join our heads together. All these bridges, they have not been helping us. The competition that we have now in Northern Nigeria is bridge. Any governor that comes in power, build bridge. Name it after you and after the person that you admire. Meanwhile, there are people in your state that are not educated. The educational system in Northern Nigeria is in the dustbin. Our security in the dustbin. If they say to the feed yourself, what's going to happen to us? This is a call to action for every Northern now. Mutashi and Bude Ido. Northern Nigeria has nothing. And I'll keep saying it. We have nothing. When people come out and say we have natural resources. Really? Where? Does it translate to your economy? Answer the question. Oh, we have farmlands. How many people can access their farmlands today? How many? Oh, we have... Please. For the fact that we have and we are not using it, it translates to we do not have. Because we are putting leaders who would rather harvest all our natural resources, process it, or even sell it, and pocket the money. Share a national cake amongst their immediate family, and probably extended family. This is a wake-up call to every Ariwa person. We have 
mineral resources cut across every northern Nigerian state. It will amaze you the number of mineral resources that we have in northern Nigeria. I'm going to do a specially dedicated video for that. Arewa is blessed. Northern Nigeria is blessed. But our major problems are our leaders. Yes, I said it. You see those leaders that come to you and tell you, oh, we are here for you. And they show up every four, four years. They are the problems. And I have another video I'm going to discuss. The major problems and the major questions we need to ask our leaders in Northern Nigeria. Our natural resources, our education, our lifestyle, our religious and tribal fights and disparities. We're going to ask those questions and we would demand answers. This is a time for Ariwapu to wake up. It is not about time you start looking for sides because the person that you are defending would not take a stone for you, not talk of a bullet. Open your eyes. Like this. I told you I love them. So I don't know. The message is getting to northern Nigeria. They are picking it up bit by bit. They are making a, you know, a lot of content out of this on TikTok right now. So if somebody says that uh, this, our work here is just talk, 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 you are not paying attention. Just give it time. Give it time. You will wake up one day and you probably will never believe your eyes inside that contraption. Give it time. That's why my own prayer be say, eh? Let, let's close our eyes and pray because it's a very special prayer. Because you know, see, it is not me. That because I want Nigeria to break up. Hmm? That is not why Nigeria will break, break up. It is not you because you don't want Nigeria to break up. That because you don't want Nigeria to break up, it won't break. No, it's not in your hand. It's not in my hand. Now close your eyes. Let us do this uh, short prayer. The universe, we raise our hands up to you. Whatever it is that is making these criminals continue in this madness, in this trajectory, the universe, eh? make you know, let them change their hand, or let me change their mind, or let them continue. Mm -hmm. Anything that will make them repent and become good people, seek forgiveness, hand over everything they have stolen. Make it no happen, no, because we know I'm in the hand them over in peace. Dear universe, eh? We continue to ask you to continue to work against this road so that they will continue to act abnormally until the doomsday will be the doomsday. Yeah? Thank you very much for listening. You will see. Now, then go break up Nigeria. Blow it up. It just about my happen, right? It will not be televised on your TV in Nigeria. It will be streamed live on the social media. So if you come here and you think it's all talk, 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 don't worry, give it time. Just give it time. So many roads out they watch, they observe, and they follow. This is my uh, catch-up for you, for everyone. I have been away for two days, and it's pretty much like I was locked up somewhere, and I was like, I wasn't away because I was following things. Speaking of things, I was like multitasking. Then I managed to, I could have possibly take you on the UK elections, right? We can do that some other time. So thank you so much, oh, that uh, this is me back. And yeah, you know, I don't know if it is the air cut, oh. I don't know if it is a drive, you know. I have not really gotten a proper rest in the last uh, 72 hours. So we drove to London, me and Agbeke. So we drove back as well. Love it. And the car, oh, amazing. But what you go still tell is a stressful one. And the kids, you know. So I have delivered what I believe. If I mean, I believe won't let me sleep well tonight. I said, oh, I could have just had a few minutes with uh, the brethren in the temple. Now I actually ended up uh, spending 100 and uh, nearly 150 minutes. 
that is uh, two hours and 30 minutes, okay? So thank you so much uh, to those of you who turned up. I'm going to see you again next time. Now, listen, if you still have the intention of, uh, if you are yet to get your own ticket, coming down to the Yoruba Union Summit uh, in Glasgow next month, it's going to happen next month. Now, if you are going to be interested, if you are interested and you really want to come, the best time for you to start doing that is now. Buy your ticket, book your hotels, come and spend your summer in, you know, in Glasgow. Let's have a chat. Let's take all this campaign off here for a moment. Right, let's make it physical. You should join us. Look for the uh, Eventbrite uh, link. Get on to it, like book a place. Buy your ticket, book a place, book your hotel, and let me know when you are coming. I will be there to welcome you and say, yeah, bye -bye. Anyway, thanks to every one of you, okay? Enjoy the rest of your uh, evening. I'm going to see you again when I see you. Well, I'm glad I'm back in Glasgow. Good night. Go 
Oh, my God. 